right, John, we got a 55 meter, so 60 Meters, yards. okay, good, all right, thank uh, you. Wedge shot here, yeah. and uh, let's talk about numbers. We got your yep. four-side quad here. Love it. And um, let's Which wedge is that? This is the 60. Okay, all right, yeah. good. The new Mizuno uh, ES21 wedge, so this better spin, guy, all right? Yeah, better spin, <laughs> exactly. No, but let's talk about some basic numbers and mm -hmm. how you can apply those numbers to get better. Yeah, right? absolutely. So you're a nerd at this, so you yeah, can explain yeah. it better than me. Yeah, nerds rule the world. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Um, so launch angle is what I want to look at first of all. Just see where we are with that. So 60 degrees, the easiest way to think about it, I want it 30 degree launch or less, Yeah. okay? So if we do that, then there's multiple ways we can get to that. Mm -hmm. We can get it with down angle a little bit, get it with shaft lean. Yeah. Also, this is, a, this is a premium golf ball here. It's a Titleist, yeah. not a whatever. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you've got a great wedge, a brand new wedge. So you've got fresh grooves, a clean golf ball, clean wedge. Yeah. Let's just see where we get to with it. Just hit one. Hit a couple. And, and think about this. It's, this is 55 meters, so yeah. 60 yards-ish. This set, all we're going to talk about here, you can go from 30 to 60 to 70. Once it gets more than that, you're probably starting to swing faster for you. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of, it's not a full swing wedge technique we're going to be talking about here. Absolutely, it's like a partial shot. You got it. And I really want you to think, or people to think about, I want this coming in pretty low. Yeah. We're not trying to zip it up in the air. Good, well done. Yeah, great. So that went 65 yards. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little further than we talked about, but not bad. Uh, 28 launch. Okay, yeah. great. So you're lower than you needed to be, but that's great, probably for that length. Mm -hmm. And about 7,100 spin, which is good. So that's coming in pretty hot. It's spinning nice and high, so no wind's going to mess with it. Yeah. It's And it's staying pretty low. And we also know when it hits the ground, it's going to stop pretty quickly. Yeah. So that was that was okay, in my opinion. Yeah. I felt like I hit it a little bit higher on the face there. It was decent. It was, it was decent, good. yeah. Yeah. But uh, that plays a huge role too, right? The way you hit it in the face is great, yeah. yeah. It, so you, you hit it, you know, probably first or second groove, basically. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a gear effect, and it, some of this is like unknown as to how much, but if you hit it low in the face, yeah. it comes out lower, obviously, yeah. and it comes out with more spin. The opposite of what we want to do with the driver. Yeah. We want to so hit it higher in the face and spin it less. So it's below the CG pretty much, right? That's absolutely yeah. right. And so what a lot of these companies are doing now, and you said that's a new Mizuno, they're raising the CG. Yeah. So now it's coming out lower in the face and it's got more of this flight to exactly. it. Exactly. It's kind of like hitting a low heel with a driver when the ball goes Absolutely, high. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're basically trying to do that. Exactly. You want to be... Low spinner. <laughs> low spinner. You want to think about short game. We're trying to be very inefficient with yeah. these shots. That's a good so, way of putting it, yeah. Because you, you don't want to try and hit it and it just flies off the face. Yeah. You, you're trying to control how it goes. So you can feel aggressive. Yeah. Because under pressure, we don't want to feel like we're trying to be too dainty, do we? We're trying to really be aggressive with the swing. Yeah. So then we don't need the ball jumping off the face. Yeah, and if you look at really good wedge player, it looks like the ball is coming out in slow motion almost. Pretty right? much. It comes out like high and like yes. good flight and spinny. Yeah. And if you look at people who struggle, they kind of move the ball back and it starts yeah. to just comes out so hot. Yeah. So that smash factor was 0.97. Yeah. So literally the club head was going at 63 miles an hour. The ball was coming out probably at 62 miles an hour. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of, like you said, the face and the ball look like they're going the same speed. Yeah. Whereas a driver, obviously, it's coming out like 1.5. Yeah, that's it's, right. It's flying off of there, yeah. isn't it? All right, let's try to hit one yeah. with a little bit more speed. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Now, obviously, people can't see that, but that's 64 yards, uh, 0.99 smash, 28.3 launch, 7,900 spin. A little bit more, yeah. A little so, bit more spin. Yeah. But very right, consistent. Right. Very good. Look at your launch. Yeah. Very consistent. It's going through the same window. Uh, hit slightly more toward the toe, but again, low in the face. Yeah. Down seven degrees. Inside out six degrees and fairly close to the path. So, yeah. like I was saying, the camera's over here, so you're not seeing that, but that, that barely tried to turn left, yeah, which is awesome. Like, that's my feel to try to almost hit a little draw. Yeah. And this is not a shot where I'm trying to put massive spin on it. This is my stock shot. Obviously, it Absolutely. comes out with a lot of spin. Yeah. And if you swing it this way on a fuller pitch shot, it will spin a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. A but, lot of, but a lot of that is conditions. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. You know, the ball, the, the turf, dry, a lot of that's the conditions. So you're trying to hit it in the same place each time. As you get better as a player, yeah. you may realize, okay, it's a little damp today. The grass is a bit longer. It's not going to come out with the same spin. But if if you're hitting it the same height every time, or trying to, 
Uh, the height's going to vary depending on how much friction we get. Yeah. But if you're trying to, you have that consistent. So if we got launch consistency, then the only variable really is how much speed you put into yeah. it. So like both those were exactly the same launch pretty much mm -hmm. and the uh, same speed and they went pretty much the same way. They went within a yard yeah. of each other so basically. So if I want to hit it 50, oh 60, well I pretty much hit it 50. Mm -hmm. If I hit it a little bit le uh, shorter, it's just a little bit less speed. You got it. With try the same launch. Try and hit the same launch. Yeah. And that's where you see from good wedge players, they yes. can just control that launch every time. Right? Yeah, I mean, look, there's two ways of kind of thinking about this. A lot of people say, okay, like Bryson at the moment is, is doing something I've always found very difficult. Yeah. He's changing the length of the backswing. Yeah. He definitely works on resonance. He definitely yeah. works on timing. Yeah. But that's difficult for a lot of people. I yeah. think you understand time as a professional mm -hmm. and you understand force. Yeah. Trying to think about where you're stopping back here takes a heck of a lot of practice. Yeah. So if you can have the same time, yeah. just apply a little less force. Yeah. We're going to get a shorter shot, but you're trying to get the same launch to it. Yeah, let's see if I can do one more. Here. Yep. Excellent. Should be a little shorter. Then. Yeah, 53 yards. Mm -hmm. uh, nine six smash again. 27 five launch. Yeah. 7300 spin. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Uh, but it, obviously they can't see this on the. It launched at the same height, mm -hmm. but it went lower, didn't it? Yeah. Why? Because it was less speed, right? Yeah, less speed. Yeah. Yeah. So the the peak height was less, yeah. but the launch was the same. Yeah. That's, that makes, oh yeah, exactly. That, that's yeah. there. So speed gives us uh, altitude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, even if you launch at a certain angle, if it goes two hundred yards, that's gonna be higher Absolutely, obviously than yeah. one that goes. You got you got it, yeah. 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 So the the best wedge players are always trying to hit that shot. And what I find when I'm coaching just you know, good players but recreational players they have too many variables. Yeah. They're trying to, you know, I'm going to launch this one up. I'm going to, no, you're not good enough. Yeah. Let's just, <laughs> let's try and hit that distance yeah. or that trajectory every time. It's like the strokes game guys. They just say, get really good at one shot. Love it. And then go from there. And go from there. There's, there's enough variables with grass, yeah. lie angle, wind, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. We don't need more variables. Yeah. If you, if I put a gun to your head under pressure, I yeah. want you to say, I'm going to try and hit this shot. Yeah. That's hard enough. Thanks, Les. Anytime. Good job.